What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the changes coming with tomorrow's uh, weekly reset, which will be February the 1st. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Be sure to check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you're not sub to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that sub button. And if you enjoy the content, definitely hit that hit that like button it helps me out a lot here on the channel now when it comes to what you can expect to see in the store this week for bright dust the taurus sparrow and chip will be available also some more ornaments for each individual class so the morrow chest for the hunter the allotted steps for the titan and the uh, drone chest for the warlock so make sure that you log in to each of your classes and check in the store to see if you'd like to pick up some of those ornaments some of those have been available in the store recently but just for silver so this week they actually will be available for bright dust the festive spark emote and the season of the chosen ghost and the grayscale undergrowth shader will also be available for bright dust this week when it comes to the nightfall this week, it will be proving grounds. I know that's a kind of a difficult one for a lot of people. A lot of people don't like farming proving grounds, especially on 1350 or Grandmaster. The weapons this week will be the palindrome, which of course is a great hand cannon, and the swarm. The reason you're going to want to farm that swarm LMG this week is this is the last time you're going to see the swarm in Destiny 2 for a while, because once the Witch Queen season releases, the swarm LMG is actually going to get vaulted so you will not see that in the game for a while this is probably the last time we're going to see it anyway considering you know we're into february now and of course you know the new dlc comes out on the 22nd so that this is probably the last time to actually farm that swarm lmg for a while so if you're looking for you know that perfect role or maybe you're needing some 1330 uh heavy weapons this would be a great time to go farm that when it comes to the crucible this week it will be the showdown uh series also bonus trial ranks uh starting of course at uh, you know, at the end of the week, you're going on into the weekend. The realm for this week will be the Ruins of Wrath. You're going after your, of course, your, uh, you know, pinnacle gear and things of that nature. Vault of Glass challenge this week will be uh, for the Gatekeeper challenge, and that will give you a chance if you farm that on a, harm, a harder mode or do it on a harder mode, you can actually get that time lost rocket launcher, which will be pretty much God rolled on that hard, uh, that harder mode. Uh, the weapons for this week for Dares of Eternity and Gear. Uh, the knight gear and the Karios or Karos uh, armor will be available in Dares of Eternity, along with the season of anvil weapons and also the seraph weapon. So it's a good week to farm Dares of Eternity if you would like to pick up some of that loot or pick up some of that armor for your kind of collection. If you're a person that likes to, you know, change the way your gear looks and get all those different armor sets that have been available in game collected. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all the things going on this week in Destiny 2. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.